Good morning. Let's sit up nice and tall. Let's roll the shoulders back and down. And feel the body in the present moment. Notice where your body meets the floor or the chair. Feel your spine rise up nice and tall. Your shoulders relax down and back. Back of the neck stretch and the top of the head reach up to the heavens. So you're getting yourself as big as you can and as grounded as you can at the same time. Let's take some nice, slow, sunshining breaths. Reaching the arms out and up. And exhale down. And continue with that. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. As you inhale up, feel your seat or your feet, whatever you're sitting on, reaching down into the floor. So you're reaching down and up at the same time. As you come down, feel yourself opening. So you're reaching down and up at the same time, getting long through the side body. And then you're feeling yourself expanding as you come down. Inhaling, stretching up. Long side body, exhaling, opening. Do a few more, so feel that grounding. Deep breath, long side body, reaching up, exhaling, expanding wide. Do one more, big stretch. And up, and wide, and down. Continuing to feel yourself broad and tall. Let's lower one ear to the shoulder. So the direction that you're going, that's the arm that comes up and over, touching your opposite ear. So you're reaching this shoulder down away from your ear. Just breathing into that long side of your neck. Let's feel the stretch. We're being very gentle and loving with ourselves. Very important to be self-nurturing, particularly in times of stress. Come back to center, getting wide, grounded, broad chest, ear comes to shoulder. So it's the ear that's reaching the shoulder, that's the arm that comes out. Reach up and over, gently lengthen the side of your neck, dropping this shoulder. Breathing into that side of your neck. Sending soft, loving energy to yourself. Inhaling back to center and down. Just very gently, let's look around, soft eyes. Just notice whatever is in front of you. And just let that come in to your eyes and softly coming back to center, seeing everything that's right in front of you. Just notice without judgment. Just let everything be what it is. We're so open to receiving life's blessings just as they are today. Not worrying about the past, not worrying about the future, just accepting what's exactly here right now. And that's the only way that you have power and the opportunity to make things better is by being in the present moment. Beautiful. Let's take this opportunity to make some shoulder rolls. Squeeze those shoulders forward, up, back, and down.
Just breathe into your shoulders. Just loving yourself. You're giving yourself a little shoulder massage here. Bringing blood and lubrication into your shoulder joints. And let's circle back the other way. Let's float those arms out with the palms up and reach back. Let's feel your chest broaden. Arms are open, palms up as if you're just ready to receive whatever blessings this day has to bring to you. And let's turn that into a spinal twist. Inhaling back to center, spinal twist the other way. Inhaling back to center, let's bring one hand to the floor, the other by the ear, dropping your shoulders, you stretch over. Looking up at your arm if that works for your neck. Loving yourself with deep breaths. Come on back down, broaden yourself, ground. The grounding down and reaching up, soften that shoulder as you tip over, rotate your head, deep breaths, opening the side body. And inhaling back to center, reach out and down. Take a breath, feel your body, shoulders relaxed, neck long, chest broad. Let's flip over onto our hands, butt, and feet. Roll the shoulders back and feel nice broadening of the chest. Let's bring the hands to the legs and widen those legs a little bit. And then we're going to rock back. Inhale, rock forward, pull against the legs to lift the chest. Exhale, rocking back. Feel yourself grounding through your feet and your sit bones. Press down into the feet, press the shoulders back and the heart lift. Go at your own pace, draw the belly in as you rock back. Lift the chest as you stretch up. Feel your breath moving you. The yogis say not I, but the breath that moves through me. You are an expression of your breath, prana, life energy. One more. And back to center. And let's keep those legs wide. We'll wibble wobble the knees, opening the hips. And let's turn this into a spinal twist. So turn your knees in one direction. You're going to walk around towards that front knee and continue turning yourself all the way around, looking over your shoulder, trying to find your other foot. Inhale back to center. Let's flip the knees. Sit up nice and tall, swing your hand around to your knee or the floor behind you, and walk around, we're lifting the tip, stretching over, finding your foot behind you. Inhale back to center. We're gonna flip those legs over one more time, 
We're going to do a thing called dolphin diving. We're going to bring our hands on either side of that front knee. Inhale, lifting the chest, lifting the belly, shoulders down. Going to come on forward, lifting that back leg. Support with your belly. Inhale, come on up. Take a breath, stretch up. Exhale, come on down. Let's bring that leg down. Inhale, come on back up. One more time, stretch up tall, lift up through your core. Bend the elbows as you can over and lift that leg. And this time you can swing that leg around and sit on up. Swing that leg around behind you. So pointing the toe as the leg comes back, swinging the leg around behind us, flexing as we come up. Swing that leg around. So we're working our hips, our knees, our feet, our toes, the whole lower part of our body. Getting a nice gentle stretch and a playful stretch. Dolphins are playful and fun. One more. And back. And we'll bring that knee down. Inhale up. Let's swing that leg around in front. Take a moment to butterfly the knees and notice how the two hips feel, two sides of your body feel. And we'll swing this leg around. We'll dolphin dive the other way. So we're bringing our hands to frame our front knee, shoulders down, heart lifted, and bend the elbows and lift that back leg. Come on back up. Draw the belly in, exhale over, and lifting the leg. Come on back up. One more time. Come on over, lift the leg. And this time we're going to swing that leg around, toes turn up, flex the foot, point the toe, swing the leg around behind you. Inhale, swing it around in front, stretch out. Exhale, swing around behind you, point the toe. Come on over, dolphin diving, playful and fun, loving yourself, having a good time as you open all the joints from hip to toes. Last one. And inhale back to center. And we'll come back to our butterfly. Gently open and close the knees. Beautiful. Let's pick one leg up and rock the baby. So you're flexing your foot, giving that leg a hug or holding with your hand. So it looks like this, or this, or this. Lifting your chest towards your leg. Feel that nice stretch through the back of your thigh. Lift the chest, relax the shoulders. Mm. Deep breaths, calming. Let's bring that leg down. Sit up tall, and we'll bring the other leg up. Again, flexing the foot so it looks like this, not like that, okay? Grabbing the heel and bringing the leg in. Either holding with your hands or your elbows. Bring the leg towards the chest, the chest towards the leg. Gentle hug. We're doing a nice, gentle, self-nurturing practice this morning. Breathe and surrender into the rocking motion, calming and loving. And stretch your legs out, sit up tall, and surrender over. Hands land wherever they land. We're not jamming our shoulders up towards our ears, our shoulders are back. Neck is long. Breathing into the tight places. And slowly surrendering over.
Inhale up. I'm going to try a low lunge side plank. So bring your hands in front of you and roll onto your hips. And come down onto your elbow. And bend your bottom knee. And then just lift that hip and your arm. Variation. You can bring that arm alongside your ear if you like. You can take that arm behind you and try to grab through there, the bottom hip, back of your hand to your hip here. Just rolling your shoulder up a little more. Just having fun with variations of poses we know and love. And again, if that didn't work for you, you're just here on the floor, right? Still works. Just bring that hand down, bring your knees in. Give ourselves a hug. And we'll open to the other side. So we're just lying on a hip. Bend your bottom knee. Come on down onto your elbow. And then if you can, you're lifting that hip off the ground. If not, you're keeping the hip down. You can bring that arm up. Or bring it overhead. Or slide the back of your hand around trying to touch your other hip, rolling your shoulder back and looking up. Lots of choices here. Explore the one that's right for you. And come on back down onto your hip. Sit back up. And forward fold. Keep your shoulders relaxed, so not jamming them up, but letting them relax your neck. Inhale back up, and we'll come over into table just so that we can get to standing and turn the toes over, rest the feet back and come into a forward fold. Stretch over the legs. Yeah, we swish your hips if you like, sway, whatever works for you. And then slowly round your way up. Come into Tadasana. So just as we did when we were on the floor, we're pressing the feet down into the earth, dropping the tailbone, dropping the shoulders, stretching up tall. Feel our connection to the earth grounding down, connection to the heavens reaching up. Let's reach the arms out. Inhale them up overhead. You can interlace your fingers into a steeple position. And we'll tip to one side, big side stretch. Inhale back to center and tip over the other way. So it's breathing into the side that we're stretching and enjoying the luxuriousness of opening the body. Let's do another set. Mm. Tipping over, lengthening the side body. Back to center and one more, I think. Did I do one and a half? <laughs> two and a half. I don't know. I think I only did two and a half. That's what I intended. And let's turn the palms down or up, whichever feels right to you. She comes in a spinal twist. 
Inhale back to center. Just finally flip the other way. Inhale back to center and down. Reach down towards the floor with your fingertips and heels. Reach up with your belly and the top of your head. Bring the hands out in front. We'll come into a chair pose, pressing the hips back. Knees are over the feet. You should be able to see your toes. Find something in front of you that's not moving to use as your balancing point. Support with your abdominals. And maybe go a little lower. Let's work on this today. Instead of coming up on our toes, we're going to hold for a few more breaths. Remember, only do what feels right to you. And if you can, go a little lower, pressing those hips back and keeping the chest nice and lifted. How about one more? And inhale slowly back up. Come into Tadasana. So chair pose is really important. Think about how many times a day we stand up and sit back down. I'd really like to get you ladies into squats because squatting is so good for you. I'll send you an article later about how important squatting is. So let's do another chair pose. Maybe we'll turn it into a squat, maybe we won't. That's up to you. Okay, here we go. Shoulders back and down, and down was lifted. Press back into a little chair pose. So you know we're going to keep going deeper. So don't go all the way right up to the beginning. Take a breath. If you can, exhale your hips back a little more. Keep your heart up. Your gaze steady. Come back a little more. Feel those thighs working? I do. And let's come back a little more. Now you can stay in chair pose or turn around, widen your feet and come all the way down into a squat, hands on the floor. If this doesn't work, grab a chair and just sit on a chair. So either sitting on a chair or on the floor, bringing your elbows inside your knees, Pressing your palms together. You're dropping the tailbone and lifting the heart. Breathing deeply up and down the spine. Feel a spine stretch. Feel your feet grounded. Your head lifting tall. And hands to the floor. Let's lift those hips and come to a forward fold. Stretch over. And if you like to swish your hips, go right ahead. And we'll slowly roll up. Bring your hands to your sides. Round your body up. One vertebra at a time. And come back. Asana. Feel the presence. Your body's alive, energized, so present, right? Right here, right now. Let's go from some half salutes into some lunges. Let's come over here. Bring your hands to your heart. Let's take a nice deep breath. Feel the shoulder blades slide down your back, lifting your heart. Start with some half salute. Surrender over nice and slow. And slide down your legs. Maybe they come to the floor, head to knees. Lift your head and chest. Maybe your hands come up to your shins. That's up to you. Flat back. Belly comes in to surrender over. Lift the head and chest once again, reaching up back. Inhale all the way back up. Give yourself a little back arc. Point the tall mountain. And down. Let's 
Let's do another one. We're reaching down, We're reaching up, feeling our grounding and our connection to the source. And coming all the way over, humbling ourselves, honoring the earth. Come up halfway again, hands can be on the floor or your shins if you lift your head and stretch your back. On an exhale, draw the belly in, come nice and close to your legs. Inhale, lift the head, reach the arms out. Press down. Come back up. Reach back, open the front of your body. And and the heart. Take it in, how wonderful your body feels right now. How loving you're being to yourself. We'll come back on a lunge. We'll start on the right leg. Start the same way. Shoulders down, shoulder blades lifting the heart. Connecting to source and folding over, connecting to the earth. Let's bring the right leg back into a lunge. And gently drop that knee. Inhale up, you can bring your hands to your thigh and stay here. Or reach up, whatever arm variation your body likes best. Feel the shoulder blades reaching down your back, your heart expanding. Lifting up out of the hips as you press down and through the legs. And we'll do the same twist we did last week. We're going to take the opposite arm. So if the right arm comes to the left leg, so we're crossing the body. We'll take the back arm across the body, come to the back of the right leg. Look over your shoulder. back to center. Let's hook the left thumb into the left hip crease, pressing that hip back from the right hand to the mat. You can stay in a low lunge or if you want more challenge, turn your toes over and lift that leg coming into a high lunge and then turn towards that front knee. Revolve side angle. Bring that hand back down. Bring that knee to the floor. Ah, come back into child. Widen the knees and stretch back. When you're ready, we'll do the other side. We'll come to the table. We'll bring the right foot through. Starting with our low lunge, drop the hips, bring the hands to the legs. Roll the shoulders back and down. You can choose your arm variation. Again, you can look forward or reach back and look up if that's safe for you. We're dropping the hips, but lifting up out of them at the same time. Allow the breath to move slowly and deeply through you. And let's take the left hand, bring it across the body to the outside of the right leg. Take the right hand, bring it across the body to the outside of your left leg, coming into our spinal twist. Come back to center. So we're going to take the right hand and hook that thumb into the right hip crease, pulling that hip crease back. 
Take the left arm, bring it to the floor by your foot, under your shoulder, and spin the body here. So, before you spin, make a choice. Either keep the knee on the floor, or turn the back toes over and lift the knee to a high lunge, and then spin the body into your spinal twist. Bring that hand back down, bring your knee back down, press back into child. From here, come up at the table, reach your hands a little bit in front of your shoulders. I'll turn the toes over and press back into downward facing dog. Remember, you can stay in child if this is too much. If you like to pedal your heels, feel free to do that. We'll just hang out here, reaching your thigh bones back, reaching your chest towards your thighs. Lift the heels and come on back down with the child once again. If you'd like, you can bring your arms around behind you in the egg variation. We'll go for a second set. Reach your arms out in front of you, a little bit in front of your shoulders. Belly comes in, toes turn over, lift the knees and press back and turn it down and take them off. And gently walk yourself back to your forward pole. Round yourself back. Come back into class. Just going to check the time. Step out into a nice wide-legged position. You know, I love five-pointed star. Feel yourself reaching down into the earth, connecting to the source, to the heavens, and expanding out in all directions. That makes this pose so wonderful. Let's take a nice deep breath. We'll do a simple spinal twist, bringing one leg, sorry, one arm down towards your opposite. And for you, it may be here or it may be here, and we'll spin our body. Inhale back up. And we'll twist the other way and hand my end on your leg all the way to the floor as you spin in the opposite direction. And 
and inhale back up. And relax the arms. Come here back, take the grass in there. Notice energy, the prana, body feeling so alive and warm. I'm going to come into a lovely balancing pose called Dancing Shiva. I'm going to bend your hips just a little bit like we did before. In chair pose, we'll bring one hand down in front of you and the opposite up overhead. Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to pick up one heel. So the hand that's opposite hand to leg, maybe that's your pose with your toes on the floor. Or you can bring that foot up across and flex it. Dancing Shiva. Come back down. Ah, roll the shoulders back. And we'll do the other side. So again, it starts with a little bit of a bend. Okay. And the arms up. Bring the opposite arm down in front of you, so little belly arms do that. Then we're going to pick up, so this hand, that knee comes up. So you're balancing on one foot and one toe. And that could be your pose. Find your drishti, or bring that foot across and flex it. Shiva was the destroyer of ignorance. Was is the destroyer of the mass. And let's release and come back to Tadasana. It's feeling so alive and wonderful. And we'll come down onto our bellies. Here we go. On our stomachs, taking a few breaths in belly shavasana. Point the toes, bring the head along with the spine. Bring the hands down by your sides or thumb side of the fist. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale the chest up. Reach through your toenails. Lengthen your neck. Soften your gaze. And breathe. Slowly come on down. Reach one leg up, keep both hips on the floor. Let's lower that leg down. Relax for a second. Mm. We'll do the other side, reach the other leg up, keep both hips pressing down. And release, head the other way. And bring your head back in line with your spine. Yogi's choice. Inhale whatever you like up off the floor. Hands, feet, head. Or you can support yourself if that's better. 
I guess to cover or steam. Whatever choice you make, bring your whole body, your whole awareness into it, energize everything. As you fly. You know, like there's energy streaming off your toes and fingertips. Because there is. I'm holding us here a little longer, just feeling the freedom. And come on back down, back your hands, widen your heels. And surrender into carpet up the room. And first back into child one more time. And let's inhale up into table for pigeon pose. We're going to send the right leg straight out and back, and then bring that knee forward and drop your hips. You can sit on your heel, or if you're more flexible, this foot comes out in front of you. But notice how the hips are level, and then there's a knot. Ugh, that feels so bad. You don't want to twist your spine. So keep your body straight. Lower your hips down, shoulders lifted, heart lifted. You can put something under your butt here if that would make it more workable for you. And then slowly, you'd like come all the way down onto your forearms and surrender your head onto your arms or pillow or block. If you like a little rock from side to side, breathing into your hips. Feel your shoulders relax. It's a very nurturing pose. Inhale back up, we'll bring that knee back and press back into child. Come on back up the other way. Send your left leg straight out behind you on the floor, and then bring that knee forward. So again, you could be sitting on your heel, or you could work that foot out in front of the opposite hip, but remember the hips are square. You're not sitting down like that. Okay. All right, so find your perfect pigeon pose, Kapitanasana. Walk the shoulders back, the hands back, and cobra. Nice open chest. Reaching down through the legs and up through the crown of your head. And then slowly make your way towards the floor. And maybe your elbows will make it to the floor. Perhaps you can bring your forehead to your arms. That doesn't work. You could try this. Maybe that's as low as you can go. It's perfectly OK.
Bring the hands back up. And this time we are going to just roll over onto our hip. Go back onto our butt. Remember this pose we started with. This time we're going to bring our feet up if we can and kind of put down. Down a little lower. And a little lower. One more. And surrender down. Take a few breaths here. And bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Do some yoga bicycles. Let's pull one leg out, the other leg in. Head, head can be on the floor or lifted. And chain sides, moving with the breath. Nice and slow, hugging that leg in. Just a few. And then bring both legs in, lower yourself down. Press your shoulders back into the mat and lengthen your neck. Deep breaths as you press your hips into the floor. Slide your legs into your chest. And then choose your favorite inversion. You might just reach your arms and legs up. Or bring your hands behind your legs. You might choose to put a block or a blanket under your hips, coming into waterfall. You might choose shoulder stand. Take a minute here. Fifteen more seconds. Five right, more seconds. And slowly come out of whichever variation you've chosen to do today and give yourself another hug. Place your left foot on the floor. Slide it straight. Press out through the heel. Take your left arm across your body, grabbing your right shin, and pull your knee across your body, coming into a knee down twist. Take your right arm, reach it all the way up and over, and follow it on with your head. Sink your shoulder into the mat. If you need to prop your leg or your shoulder, please do that. Surrender your body into the floor.
feel the movement of your breath. Gentle waves of expansion and contraction. Feel your body soften into the floor with each exhale. Inhale back to center. Bring both legs in. Give yourself a hug. Hug your left leg in and straighten your right leg. Press up to that heel. Take your right arm, bring it across, hugging your left shoulder. Get your left arm up. Pull me across the body and roll over to the right side. Turn your head away from your knee and surrender your shoulder into the mat. Again, if you need to put a pillow under this arm or under this leg, find a way to make it work for you. Inhale back to center. One more hug, flattening your back into the mat. And coming to Shavasana, either feet flat on the floor with the knees knocking, arms at your side, four legs straight with the toes turned outward. You need to get a blanket or a pillow, whatever makes this work for you. Just as we did when we were sitting up. Feel the weight of your back sinking into the floor. Feel yourself grounded. Feel the front of your body opening up. Feel it light and free. The breath moving freely through your body. The softness of your belly and your chest rising and falling. Feel your connection to the earth through the back of your body. Connection to source through the front of your body. Your connection to all that is through your breath.
You're welcome to stay here as long as you like. I'm going to slowly bring some movement back into my body. And make my way to a seated position. Thank you so much for coming to practice with me today. Namaste.